I think most people think it's cocktails. It started with the Skinny Girl Margarita, and the cocktail line is over 20 different varieties of wine, vodkas, ready-to-drink cocktails. And we've moved into, we have different partners. We moved into microwave popcorn with Con Agra. We have salty snacks, dips, liquid water enhancers, appliances. Soda Stream is our partner. Arizona in our non-alcoholic beverages. So we get, I get into business with people that are the okay, best Okay, so how did it really products. happen? But first, what was the, the sort of inspiration to actually just even begin with the vodka? Uh, it started with the Skinny Girl Margarita. The margarita, I apologize. Because it was, it was a practical solution for women, which is the whole platform for the brand. Women want to have a cocktail, but they don't want the calories. And when did and you come deal. up with the Skinny Girl name? The Skinny Girl name, uh, I think it was around 2007. I'm not, I don't, it might be a little later. Was that. there like a moment which you're like? I think there was a moment, yes. I, I pretty much like things to be straightforward. I don't like things to be ambiguous. I want people to understand when you see this, you know that it's a thin girl. The name describes what the brand is. And the name, I said it, I said it's a Skinny Girl Margarita. And it just, I felt it. And that's, you have to go with your gut in And business. so once you, hold on, so once you do the margarita, do you say to yourself, okay, it's going to be all of this, or this just sort of happens? No. Organ I mean, were you empire building from moment one? I'm a person that go takes it as I go. Once I said the margarita and people, it resonated with people, then I went to find the right partner to create it, then partnered with Beam Suntory, which is now, it's now Beam Suntory, simply in cocktails. We're partners in cocktails. Then I maintain the intellectual property. I own the brand Skinny Girl, so I created all of these other categories. But I do it as I go. I don't say I want to take over the world. I say I really think that there needs to be a great low-calorie hummus, right. lower in calorie and better in taste than the, than the competitors, and the nutritional bars, and it keeps going. So somebody approaches you now and says, I want to have a Skinny Girl version. Of, I'm looking at that soda stream right there, which is unique. It looks like here it's the one that has somebody else's label on it, and it's the skinny girl version in there. That's a great question because I only co-brand with certain people. Orville Redenbacher is the best in popcorn. So if I'm getting into microwave popcorn, their name That's is the very skinny tiny. Girl. It's skinny girl. And they have never really co they really don't co-brand. Uh -huh. And Arizona has never co-branded before either. They right. usually just have Shack on the, on the so, bottle. So says has this Arizona. become just a massive licensing business, or is it is it licensing in the name? How much? How involved are you in the product? Who who actually owns? So like that? I own all the I own the mark, the intellectual property. I own the brand completely, except right. for I have a partner in cocktails. But I license some deals, and I have combinations of licensing and equity deals. But I am in, responsible for every word, every bag, the, I, the logo, the flavors, everything. And some people I will co-brand with, depending right. upon the brand. But well, so she's clearly a Hollywood brand. star, not involved at all in, in this right. business at all. Has no well, so knowledge that's the at thing all I was going to ask. So I know you it's from, very obvious. from, you know, the Housewives. And I think of you, uh, you know, to be honest, oftentimes in Us Magazine. How much time you, is this what you do all day? This is what I do a lot of the day. Where I am right now, I enjoy being the most. Talking to you guys, this is where I thrive. And it's a lot about gossip and it's a lot about my marriage and my relationships and what I ate and what I wore. But this is where I enjoy being. I'm, I'm getting up this early. I enjoy so it. how important, hold on, how important, though, is Housewives and being in Us Magazine and the tabloids and the gossip? to this brand? Well, I had a daytime talk show that was five right. days a week, and it was not the same target audience as Bravo, which is a much smaller, less frequent audience. And being on Bravo, it is the influencers, they are the purchasers, they are the women that buy for the household, and that moves the brand. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.